okay so we'll start today uh, your uh, maintaining uh, material master record uh, okay so last uh, class we have seen uh, that uh, when we are are uh, maintaining uh, sorry when we are are uh, uh, doing this uh, vendor master record or then we can see uh, what are the uh, three different things uh, can anyone say that what are the uh, three part uh, we have uh, uh, discussed that in vendor master record or on, uh, one will be general data and uh, the other two are can anyone say you have uh, remember the other two are yes one will be your general data another one will be your accounting data and and anyone who else remember none of you forgot it yesterday only i talked about that part yes you can see here or where is it at uh, we have uh, discussed that uh, vendor master record that uh, uh, three things will be uh, three things will uh, be purchasing there purchasing organization data ah uh, purchasing organization data and accounting data and accounting general data. data and accounting data so i think in uh, neha i remembered that part okay because uh, many times it will be asked and and neha can you tell tell what will be there in the general data what are the the uh, things uh, we are we can store in the general data like the vendor address and uh, your or vendor uh, one, uh, details all these things things we can uh, store in the general data right and uh, what is the purchasing uh, purchasing records we can uh, and store we can store in the purchasing informations purchasing group and uh, and the what is the previous purchasing history and all these things things uh, whatever related uh, things are there related to the purchasing that part at, uh, we can uh, store in the uh, purchasing we can store in the purchasing uh, general data purchasing purchasing data right and accounting data whatever in general ledger account or uh, whatever uh, general ledger account yes you can see here general ledger account and or it is sub ledger account and uh, we can can store uh, those informations ones in the uh, uh, accounting data okay so these are things you can see here or uh, in the company code data uh, general data company code data and here you will in the company code data you can store the information of account uh, account information that is what is called accounting data okay you can see account information payment transaction correspondence as withholding tax in the purchasing uh, purchasing purchasing organization data we have store you can see purchasing data and partner roles in the general data you can go for address communication control data bank information contact person like that only only when we are maintaining in material master record or uh, you can also store some um, data uh, that is related to a particular material now in the previous chapter we have seen in that uh, the data that can be uh, stored or for uh, a particular vendor right now here or for particular uh, particular material uh, we can store or uh, the information okay so if you see the business example so uh, we will go for the various departments uh, in your company access the existing material master record or you need to create an extent material master record for this reason you require the following knowledge what are the knowledge you require uh, in order to understand the material master record and how to create and maintain material master record okay uh, or uh, to understand the organizational level that are important to maintain Uh, master records metal master record okay so these are the things that uh, you need to, to maintain or you need to understand and when you are going for the metal master record so, so here mostly we will will uh, learn here or uh, how to create metal master record and how to extend a metal master record okay so what exactly it will consist of we will see 
yes you can see here or uh, in a material master record or you can store the information like the basic data for a particular material or the material requirement planning in or stocks at plant or storage locations on so where the material will be stored particularly or the accounting information related to that particular material trial also so you will have that uh, information and the storage where uh, this uh, material can be stored or where is in the warehouse warehouse management how the uh, material will be managed that part also uh, will be uh, you can store in the material master record okay and you can go for the you can also have the information for a, a particular purchasing organizations how your material master star uh, will be will be or how your material master will be useful for that particular material and uh, while you are going for the purchasing okay sales sales people also uh, use this material master work scheduling you can use for work scheduling quality management forecasting classification all these things can be can be handy the for this this uh, material master record okay so you can see the material master record is a company central source of material uh, specific data okay so it is used in all areas of logistics the integrations of all material data in a single database as a object eliminates Uh, the problem of data redundancy all areas such as purchasing inventory management materials planning and invoice verifications can jointly use the stored data right so whatever our data uh, you can uh, can store you can store in the uh, related to the material uh, related to the material it can be stored in the material master record okay so the data stored in the material master is required for many activities including the following okay so whatever data it is stored it can it can have many activities like purchasing or uh, ordering purposes inventory management for or posting goods movement and and physical inventory management and accounting for material valuation and the material planning for material requirement planning okay material planning for mrp system so various users or various user department and within a company work with material data like for example uh, for example your or foundry uh, foundry store your machining store your uh, cleaning store i mean all this this uh, department or various department and our uh, production or your uh, warehouse or uh, forging machining all this uh, machining department and for example who will mostly le wants to know the information about the particular material okay so each department store or different information relating to it so the data in a material master record is subdivided according to the specific user department whatever data you will store in the material master record it is totally le subdivided as per the requirement of the particular department therefore each user department has its own view of material own view of a material master record and is responsible for maintaining this data okay that particular department will be responsible for maintaining in this data that uh, whatever data and the most important thing you need to uh, note, note down here is that let's see uh, for any material master record uh, how to maintain this will be maintained in three different uh, level okay so and this material master record will be maintained in three different level l first one will be initial level under initial level you have the information of that material and uh, the next level l you will have main work level in main work level mostly the data are related to purchasing and uh, this work scheduling sales accounting mrp and forecasting related things will be stored in the main work level and in the additional level in the additional data level it will store like tax tax whatever informations you want to store and units of measure additional uh, additional ens ens document data consumption data okay so how much material you have consumed so mostly you can see those who have practice questions you can see the consumption data will be the question may be asked like this the consumption data is stored in which level obviously you can go for additional data level or else uh, it may be asked you like that the forecasting data 
uh, will be stored on which level of the material master record okay so you can you need to go for the main work level okay like that only questions will be asked or you can say that the purchasing in uh, the purchasing data for a particular material will be stored in which level you need to select that main work level or you can units of measure or will be stored at uh, which level you need to go for the additional data level so we'll see these thing, things in the live server then only you need to understand then only you can can understand oh, what are the three things okay while we if we will create a material master record but then only we will able to know about this three different level and those who have, have created they will now uh, differentiate at uh, what are they will now able to know what is this the initial level main work level and additional level like neha can you uh, can you able to understand this figure now yes sir uh, this, there is a while creating the material master record you must have some initial level about the you need to uh, give the information about the material as well as you need to give the information about all these purchasing work scheduling sales accounting mrp forecasting like that and also you can you can uh, give the information about units of measure and uh, mostly this consumption data also you need to give the information while creating the material master record right yes sir. Uh, anyhow uh, we will see those things things uh, and uh, all these things is uh, has been described here or uh, in like uh, for what purpose this uh, uh, main work uh, level is there you can see the initial level i think uh, it is uh, there these are the screen for the individual users department such as basic data the this main work level are mostly in the, for the individual department such as basic data and material planning okay this main work level are mostly basic data and and uh, material planning will be stored for the main work level and now for the additional data level now for the additional data level you will have, have on this screen you find additional information such as alternative units of measure or material sort description and consumption value so these are the things that he has written here okay so again again uh, the different organization level for uh, or you can say that material master at organizational level now you can have for the data that is valid for the whole enterprise and that and there are also information on data that is valid with within one plant also you will get the information within storage location for one storage location okay so like that only you can can uh, you can categorize uh, the material master record and you can store your information okay so so this is the, one of the important things you can you can need to know the material data is distinguished in the structure or in the following ways like data at client level data at plant level and data at storage level okay so mostly the, the material data will be categorized into these three three different way like how we are uh, storing the material all informations on uh, like in three different level one will be your data at client level and that's of the topmost level client level means topmost level and then we'll go for the plant level and then we'll go for the storage location level mostly we are not storing the material in the company level okay general material data that is valid for the whole company is stored at the client level all data that is valid within a plant and for all storage location belonging to it is stored at the plant level all data that is valid for particular storage location is stored at the storage location level these organizational level are relevant for the external procurement process client plant uh, client plant and storage location on matter when you enter data for purchasing inventory management and accounting other organizational level can be relevant okay so these are not that much of important things so the important thing that, that i have already told you <coughs> client level plant level mostly you should remember or uh, the material data will be uh, stored in the client level uh, plant level and storage location level okay so uh, how to create the material master record so this is the uh, path that uh, they have given and like logistic material management and material master or uh, material display current uh, and display current so for for using uh, for uh, for display of material master record we can use mm03 for display of uh, vendor master record 
which uh, what is the transaction code uh, um, what is the transaction code anyone there s s k 01 who is that sir basan sir ah basan ah uh, so what is the transaction code for uh, uh, vendor master record central vendor master record contact with this uh, interface then only many many questions you can able to uh, answer uh, if you are just asked uh, just acquainted with this this uh, interface if you are just acquainted with this interface then many questions you are able to uh, we level to uh, answer hotel management sir? and uh, yes sir it's xk01 only sir hmm, that that only we'll see now which one is uh, purchasing yes, um, purchasing uh, material master, master data um, vendor uh, purchasing if you go to purchase this create mk01 or if you will go for or uh, uh, centrally you will see it for create xk01 for display xk03 okay so remember always for uh, display of any uh, vendor master record or anything else you need to go for display means you need to go for uh, 03 one is always you need to create like like uh, for example that as you can see here or in purchase uh, purchase uh, order also you will go for this is one okay everywhere you can go for first one will be uh, you need to create first one will be create okay like that only you can see uh, that material master material master will be will be in the purchasing in uh, master data uh, and uh, Uh, material master uh, where will, what is the path uh, material master i think yeah material master you can see here our uh, material management and un under uh, go to and go to what is the path yeah logistic material management go to material master and then go to material material and then go to create create it I think uh, this is uh, let me check what is the path. Uh, no, no. Create material master material uh, and then uh, you can see here our MM zero three right. MM zero one is the material master record. How to create that material master record? MM zero one. We go for MM zero one. I think uh, how to maintain material master record. This is maintain. You can you need to see the path. Yeah, see MM zero one. So it is material master material create general. Okay, so that is the path. Create data. Create. I don't know why it is MM zero one right. sir create general general right general yeah create general and do not go for special yeah you can see so create general so you can find out mm01 here yeah. but uh, if you want to display this material you need to go here you can see display mm03 okay for displaying of any any i mean anything metal master record vendor master record will go for the 03 okay so for uh, in order to create that uh, material master record uh, you need to create that at uh, mm01 okay 
so that mm01 also you can directly you can directly write it here or mm01 and then you can click click enter and you come to the same page but here you can see one thing at the initial screen of the the metal master record record uh, you will have the material information industry sector i don't think it uh, which industry or uh, you can see here what are the options here you can select select uh, education port it mechanical and retail and service provider the uh, telecom uh, and all these retailing all these industry which industry you will take you need to select that industry and material type we what are the material type whether you will go for the raw material or you will go for the finished product or you will go for the the any non stock uh, material or in stock material or product um, material so mostly we will go for this this raw material type of thing okay so you can see mostly whatever material we will prepare go, to, uh, go for the uh, raw material type okay so change number uh, is not necessary i hope so it is it, it is it is there it is necessary to give a change number now yeah. change number is necessary or what without uh, without change number also we can give that you can prepare that material master record right or wrong yes sir uh, without uh, it is not necessary right yes sir oh. not okay. necessary uh, Ah, so these are the three things uh, I think mostly you need to uh, give while preparing that material master record. But one more thing you can do also, you can uh, create the material master record by copying from um, any previous material if you have any. Okay, so you can take the refer that material, uh, you can uh, search it here and you can refer that material and from that you can also create your material master record. Okay, you will see that thing. Uh, that thing and now will demonstrate to us. Okay, before that. Uh, Actually, what are the other things we will see here? Mm. So this is how oh, you can display by putting mm03. Okay, so we will see here or uh, enter uh, one by one. Let me see. I think uh, this part you can you can uh, demonstrate to us, right? Display. Yeah. Sir, you said about vendor master data. Vendor master record. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, you have not prepared this material master record. It's a little bit. Okay, okay. So anyhow, we'll see that part. And uh, so maintaining uh, material master record. So how to maintain this material master record? That is what uh, I have already told you. So this material can be whether which type of uh, in industry it is, whether in the industry sector, material type, and reference. And uh, in viewing basing data, purchasing, storage, location, accounting, all these informations, and so we can can and, uh, take the help of for maintaining this uh, data. Okay. So material type. So previously also uh, we have seen in uh, what are the things that can be controlled all uh, using the material master record or uh, this uh, vendor master record. We have seen that part also. But here in material type also uh, we can go for. or uh, the controlling function like number assignment and procurement type user department field selection and account determination account determination so mostly this field selection is is common you can see in the both the vendor uh, master record and and uh, metal master record as well as, as this account determination also oh, can be uh, i think common you have seen right this is the controlling function that uh, number assignment procurement type user department see the questions may be asked on that things so uh, it must be uh, it must be yeah, this material type can be controlled this uh, user defined thing okay so material type control the following uh, in some of them some of uh, you are in the waiting lobby let me see who else are there okay Okay. Okay. So the material type controls the following function among other things. So the type of number assignment, whether it is internal or external, that is what had I told you yesterday also. So in the vendor uh, assign in the vendor master record also, we can see the type of number assignment, whether it is internal or external. All that part uh, we need to see. Okay. 
and the permissible number range interval that that is also uh, the function among the uh, one of the functions the user department specific view that is uh, proposed for entry and the procurement type that is allowed for material uh, that is whether the material is produced in house or procured externally or both so this is some of the uh, uh, functions that uh, you can you can do it here in the industry sector mostly screen selection and field, uh, field mostly screen selection and field selections can be controlled okay so when we create a material master record the industry sector determines the following function on uh, which screen are displayed mostly the screen selection and field selections are there and uh, the keyboard and and how to maintain material master record okay so these are the things that we will uh, go to uh, we'll go and watch in uh, create material master record we'll see in the uh, learning of, of how this uh, these things are are uh, uh, how to create the material master record okay we'll see here uh, this uh, material master record so you can you can have a watch so all of you uh, you should you must uh, go through all this uh, uh, learning hub right yes sir yes uh, you must uh, uh, use that learning hub i will see you how many of you have used that learning hub okay then if you have completed then uh, there is a options uh, your uh, date of completion will be there okay so now uh, now we will will uh, create a material master record how we will create a material master record or uh, you will see okay so you want to use a new new raw material using consumption based planning in plant 1000 so you you you, you notice these things you are for you are planning a new material for this specific plant 1000 for this reason and uh, you need to create a material master record or uh, when creating the material master record use mrp profile zb b1 as a template so we'll see that mrp profile later on for the moment you need to create that uh, you need to go take this mrp profile as zb b1 as a template okay so now by using this uh, mrp profile zb b1 and and your plant 1000 and uh, we will we'll, uh, create a new material master record right so for creation of new material master record or uh, where you go where we will go we'll go to the the logistic we'll go to the logistic and then we'll go to the material management then we'll go for the material master okay then we'll go for the uh, general uh, met, uh, then we'll go for the material and and uh, create general okay we under create general we need to double click that mm01 or you can directly write mm01 also okay so you can see here or uh, uh, here or uh, input the material details and choose the required value the required views among uh, with its original level okay so here we will choose the material trial so for uh, we we want to create a new material or we want to create a new material master record for this particular material like uh, t e m t uh, m 525803 so we have selected the industry sector as mechanical engineering and and uh, roh raw material okay raw material so here we don't have to put that change number okay so it is also working without giving that change number and uh, you need to select select view okay the path is clear yes yes okay. yes sir so so oh, we have uh, yes, we have we have put the select view so what uh, here, here what we need to select you need to select certain option which will be displayed in your uh, material uh, master record so for example i want to see the all the purchasing informations 
answer related to that particular material as well as i want to see the the metal requirement planning one metal requirement planning two o and metal requirement or sir accounting informations okay after selecting all these things then we will we'll continue we will continue uh, we'll continue then uh, obviously i have selected for 1000 plant so i will will put the 1000 plant and storage location 0001 and mrp profile that is what zb b1 okay zb after zb b1 and zb uh, b1 you can go for or uh, enter enter once you will enter then uh, here the in, input the field values required for the selected views and save the material okay you can you can save the material and uh, once you will give the uh, input field so what do we need to um, put it here we need to write it uh, for which each material or the information on information about that material suppose that material is each raw material so i can write it uh, raw material uh, and uh, you need to choose the base unit of measure that is what see that is what i told you so oh, general data in the general data that is in the the second uh, second level second level i told you i have i have shown you that uh, i can say i can show you in this uh, pdf also so that uh, it will be better so you can uh, you can yeah create vendor master record it vendor master record vendor yeah. master record you can see here uh, where it is in the metal master record you can see here yeah. can you see the i think uh, it is quite uh, it is quite uh, uh, I mean, you cannot see. I think it is very. It is. Uh, it should be zoom, zoom in. Okay. So no, no issue. So you can see. You can go for the, in the purchasing information. You can in the purchasing information. You can see. You need to put the base unit of measure. Whether the you want to procure through pieces or uh, in liters and all these things, you can go for. Obviously, we are are uh, the units. Uh, the material will be in pieces. Okay. So purchasing group. We are purchasing from 001 group purchasing group so material group 001 this is also we'll see what is this material group how to form that material group and then and uh, you can select the other informations like your MRP profile and accounting informations also you need to put so go for the accounting informations click the accounting information valuation class this valuation class separately we will study I mean one of, in one of the chapter. it is there about the valuation class and also you can select the moving price like how uh, the moving average price is uh, see the price control is v here or this is this is for the v is for moving average price so you can select the moving price is 10 here and then we can go for the mrp profile after accounting information one okay then it will go for the mrp one okay go for the mrp one and uh, here or what happened you can what it is written you can see the values of the mrp views automatically fill the data from mrp profile zb v1 so from uh, it has the zb profile zb v1 profile has already been created so all this information about this mrp profile it will automatically fill fill so if the lot size field cannot be changed because this field is defined in the mrp profile as the fixed value so on the mrp one view the change process reorder point uh, 250 and the mrp to delete the safety stuff okay so you can see here or the reorder point means what i think most of you have known this reorder point what is this reorder point anyone uh, anyone from mechanical uh, you know what is this reorder point because i need to demonstrate to you because without understanding this reorder point it will be difficult for you to understand can you can you and you say that what is reorder point anyone from mechanical i think you have gone yes sir, sir before the before the stock gets over uh, 
we reorder it so that uh, the inventory does not get vacant yeah so so that is the reason you can you can go for it it without uh, so without what uh, reorder point uh, before or uh, before the stock will get over so you need to to go for the uh, reorder point right yes sir That part actually we need to understand the opening driver. Opening driver is from under rotate. Actually, what happened? And uh, only this mechanical student will do. I think the other students are also there. I need to explain that part. Okay, let me see whether my uh, device is working or not. Okay, so what happened? And generally, you can see if this is your uh, suppose consider or uh, this is the initial level, and uh, suppose you have have uh, your product will start at uh, from here. So obviously, you have uh, you have uh, started ordering thing from this level, and uh, suppose uh, this is is one more level, okay. And you have have uh, started ordering from item from at this stage. So you have consuming. Suppose uh, your uh, daily consumption will be like this, okay. So you obviously you started consuming the material. The I mean the storage level will be initially at day one. Suppose day one. and the consumption the storage level is this much okay this much is from this point to this suppose consider this is the reference point that is zero from zero to to this much of storage locations will be the storage of material will be there so when we are started consuming for that particular material what happened and it will it will uh, started decreasing obviously from your stock house whatever material you have it will started decreasing as you are are as your days are increasing okay obviously there must be a point there uh, there must be a point where uh, where 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 uh, you need to reorder reorder that means you need to fill up your stock this is the suppose for example this is your stock okay so if if you want to reorder or at this point then only it will take some time to get order obviously it will take some time so this is called as your and mostly it is in the danger period okay so suppose your material will not arrive suppose your material will not arrive then uh, you may face some problem in the production okay that is what what you need to do you need to reorder at some extra point so that that you will get some time so that once suppose consider at this point you have reorder then uh, you will get some um, uh, of the stocks will be more obviously your this will again increase sorry this is not the uh, actually actually suddenly uh, suddenly your uh, your stocks will arrive so what happened this will at this particular point the stocks will increase suddenly to, uh, to this uh, to this point again again uh, you started consuming again and this curve will started decreasing as the days are increasing so we need to reorder at this point that reorder point if you will not reorder the material at proper time what will happen this consumption will go and reach here where there will be no stock will be available if no stock will be available your productions will get stop once your production will get stop then obviously there will be crores of loss will be there for you 
okay i hope you got this thing so that is what the importance of of reorder point and uh, you need to to yeah you need to uh, understand this reorder point so reorder point also you need to uh, you need to uh, mention like uh, from uh, which uh, suppose you have uh, 100 pieces uh, so okay so out of 100 pieces as uh, you need to to give uh, when your reorder point will be 50 then you need to to mention on that reorder point okay so here uh, here i have mentioned that reorder point will be 50 then we will go to the uh, mrp2 then we will go to the mrp2 and uh, safety stop so safety stop i uh, if you are if you are putting safety stop 20 then uh, you can call it as, as in the 20 only really you are uh, you are uh, you are having that all the material but here or uh, if you can see okay so now when when your uh, safety stock uh, it should not be it should be always empty okay safety stock should be empty and uh, uh, obviously if there will be some safety stock then uh, you can say that at uh, with this safety stock you can work on so yes we are we don't have any safety stock so we can can uh, the, this material is not in our stock okay so that is why safety stock will be zero for uh, uh, for this material storage location okay so additional data additional data as i told you additional data we will you need to see under additional data you will have, have uh, the consumption data you can see under additional data you can see in the drop down box consumption will be there okay click consumption um, that is what i have shown there yes am i clear right under this under this additional data only you have those consumption data so mostly the questions will be asked where the consumption data will be stored the consumption data will be stored in the additional data okay you can see you can click the consumption data and uh, you need to give the period indicator or uh, okay for what is that uh, enter the period in which you want to manage consumption data so periodically you need to to enter the uh, consumption data for example you need to to mention this uh, period uh, period indicator that is what and we will see what is this this uh, period data uh, m and what are the other things so you can see we will see that part okay here enter the total consumption for monthly usage okay so you need to to for which month uh, how much material we are going to consume that part also you need to mention here okay for each month like for uh, uh, june uh, june also you can how much you will consume on may 2014 how much you want to consume all the related things things uh, you need to oh, mention it previously okay all these informations you need to to report it previously then only you can uh, get some uh, material all for in your storehouse okay so this is how you can prepare your material all uh, master record okay you, you need to to give the informations for each individual all month so what uh, you can can uh, consume how much you can consume after giving all these things then you can can save this uh, information okay once you have saved if, uh, here you notice that the material trial, uh, the material uh, tam 525a03 has been created okay so up to this is can you uh, neha can you demonstrate with a live server yes sir okay so you share your screen and uh, try uh, this thing uh, let's others will will uh, also see what uh, we can we can demonstrate uh, using this uh, live server so others also do practice with this uh, live server what i have uh, shown to you okay neha you uh, share your screen and you try yes, the
Sir, I'm having a doubt. Yes. Sir, uh, while creating a material, sir, yeah. what are the uh, means? What are the compulsory data we should provide uh, during that select views? Ah, uh, select view. You can and go for the MRP profile or accounting informations or uh, general data. Uh, you can select that part also. Sir, that consumption part is not uh, um, that much uh, required. Which one? The consumption of that material uh, monthly. How much uh, we have to conserve? Ah, that is uh, why it is. Why I am telling all uh, that part? That after after this, Nia will demonstrate. Then I will tell you. Because okay, because uh, just now I just just now I show you, na the for each different month how much you will consume the material. Yes. Ah, uh, the importance just just remind me after Nia will complete. Then I will. Uh, I'll uh, show you the importance of that conjunction. Okay. Yes. Yeah, now I'll continue. Okay. Yes, sir. Is it visible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Continue. The path for material master material master record is logistic, then material management. Material. then is one to be zero.
See, you write the ZV B2. B2. Okay, hmm. sir. It is showing. I think it is not showing. So you can you can close this one. Uh, you go and uh, search that uh, violation type in the right side of that uh, violation type. Click that violation type tab. Where is the violation type? Ah, uh, they are only right side. Ah, uh, right side. Ah, uh, search that violation category does not uh, allow. Oh, Split violation. Okay, I think uh, that violation type. Uh, you you choose the other plant. Maybe it will be there with that plant. It is uh, not there, but uh, choose the plant. Plant uh, one zero one zero two zero. One zero two zero. Uh. One zero two zero is not showing. Not showing, sir. Ah, uh, that is what. Seven zero zero. Maybe maybe choose some other plant. Okay. Uh, select that one. Maybe the, let me see whether it is there uh, with the that violation class has been defined. It should be the uh, violation class should be defined with that plant. One eleven hundred. Choose eleven hundred. Eleven. Okay. 1100 uh, 1100 plan uh, let's see now you put that zvb1 whether the violation type will be defined for this uh, plant or not let me see plant uh, what it is written first, uh, first create the valuation type independent data okay so that uh, valuation type uh, uh, you need to create uh, uh, for independent data that I think somebody has changed the settings there or uh, that is why it is not showing here or else uh, it should have uh, taken and uh, I it think you uh, need to go to that SPRO and uh, uh, see the valuation, valuation type must be defined for this specific plan. If the valuation type will not be defined for this specific plan then it won't take. Anyhow, uh, uh, anyhow, can I think uh, the ZVB1 is not working? Let me see if it will work or not. Okay, so sir, you can go to, uh, sir, uh, we can create a material without that valuation type also, sir. Uh, without create, uh, without uh, taking the valuation type, just click uh, uh, this one. It is taking, yes, sir. Uh, it is taking uh, without valuation type also. I mean. And you can take it. That is not compulsory, I hope so. Right? Yes. Mm. So now you can <coughs> give the material information. Give any information about that uh, particular material. You don't have to particularly write that same material. You can write uh, the name of the material, like uh, uh, Neha material. Also, you can write uh, raw material. Also, you can write. Okay, yeah, you can put put this material to your own name also. Like there only you can prepare your own thing. But here you can see the purchasing group. You need to mention those who are right. Right click thing, we can general data is this and then purchasing group one. It is not changing. Which one? Material group. Material group is not changing. Yes, sir.
Yeah, now it will change. No? Oh. Select the metal group. Which metal group you want to select? Not changing, sir. Hmm. So moving every stage, you must you must have select that MRP. And now, oh, so this guy, you see, you are asking about these things, right? How you are selecting this MRP one and uh, MRP two, MRP three, MRP four, and uh, purchasing. We need to fill the reordering, reorder point. Right. We need to select that material type. Material type. We need to put that material type also. Which one the material type will be? Because that is the right thing you have seen. You can see. Right thing okay. is here. Right thing is here. Clear now. So you understand, right? Now, yeah, what is the reorder point? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh. What do you need to mm -hmm. write? Multi type. Multi type. Mm. So, what we need to fill? Material type is what? Whether the material is. Uh, whether the material is is what? Whether the whether the material is raw material or or your uh, I mean you previously used material. Type of material. Ah, type of material. Yes. Sir. Sir. Hmm. That so is. Uh, ah. Sir, uh, in I am just uh, doing with that valuation type, sir. Uh, it is uh, accepting Z V B two. B two, which one? B, sir, uh, that valuation uh, type, sir. Ah, Z V B two. That uh, that is for which plan? Sir, same, sir. One thousand I have given. It is. Uh, Done. For ZV B1, it is not working, na? Sir, I have not checked. I have checked only ZV B2. Ah, ZV B2, maybe they will. Uh, it it may work, but I don't know why. Neha, uh, uh, it not working here. So maybe sometimes uh, it will work because uh, this uh, server is like that only. So ZV B1 and ZV B2 both are working, but uh, I don't know. Okay, anyhow, uh, she has started. So you can write that uh, material type BB. That you can you can select. Now uh, you can get this uh, material type information by uh, selecting that uh, white uh, square box. Uh, yes, sir, I got it. Uh, you got it right. Uh, see, you yes, can sir. and select. You can see in, in type it type it here. One second. Uh, you can see what what are the material type it is written here. You can see. AP external planning. M04 uh, MPS. But, but here you can see mostly we are going for the manual reorder point planning because manually we need to to um, we need to give the information of reorder point. Okay. So for manual reorder point planning, which one? B B B B B B B. Yeah. Select that B B. Yes sir. Okay. Okay. Now you go to the next one. What is the next page? Then we need to set the RP two. Ah. Uh, go to the RP two. Yeah. The RP controller. Ah, uh, RP controller is what? Let's see. 
what is the MRP controller? Uh, you can select the MRP controller. Or, uh, which one you need to select? Which one you need to select? MRP controller. This one. Okay. Not size. Oh, lot size. Sir, what is this? Which one? Lot size. Lot size means in uh, your safety stock size. How much? Uh, uh, how much? Uh, I mean, what is the size? Means 100 units or 400 units or or uh, 500 units, whatever it is. What is the lot size? Okay. We can take so, anyone, sir. See, right? You read, you read the right one. Actually, I am not. I will clearly see what is written there. You can Today see in the right, right hand side description side. Two, two day lot, lot size, week lot uh -huh. size, three day lot size. Uh -huh. You want to see, you want to use, use uh, the raw material uh, for two, uh, two day lot size or uh, two week lot size, like that only. Your reorder quantity, the lot size will be there. Hmm? Which yeah, one you want so to use? Which mostly will go for uh, that uh, uh, monthly lot size. Or monthly. Will go for, uh, monthly lot size. That this is one? M MS. MS. Uh -huh. M MS or MB or what? That is what? MB, sir. Uh, MB, MB. Select that MB or you can go for the weekly lot size. Okay. Anyone you can select. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, then go for the MRP2. MRP2. Uh, what is the compulsory things here? You can see plant delivery time. For how much, uh, for how many days uh, you will go for, or uh, the plant delivery is scheduling that material should be should be delivered within how many days? Plant delivery time is there, right? In the scheduling, right side. Uh, how many days? Uh, and days, four days, or how many days you require your material should be delivered? Hmm? Five days or ten days, like that. That uh, you need to give. Okay, so go to the next one. Go to the next one. Alita. Hmm. Under additional data, uh, you need to go to the consumption, consumption data, okay. um, uh, uh, period indicator, or what is monthly, you have selected monthly, monthly. right? Uh, the yes, sir. I told you, so period indicator, we have already selected there, and now also you are getting monthly. So each month, uh, you, Sudipta, you are there, right? You are asking these things, right? The consumption data, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, for each month, and you are asking this thing, right? For each month, how much you want to consume that you need to oh, mention for that particular material. Then only the, your material uh, will be, will be, I mean, st material information will be st stored like that for over, like this. For example, well, uh, certain forecast you need, you are doing, right? Like, like for this month, and our uh, organization will going to consume uh, this much of data. For example, well, uh, if I will say that at uh, now uh, Geo has uh, that uh, telecom industry Geo has, has give you a plan like or limited data for one month. Okay, so you are recharge, you are doing your recharge um, while recharge you are doing in for one month or two months or three months. Okay, so based on your requirement, you know that how much data you are going to consume this month and uh, next month or this or you can say that uh, this month how much data you are going to consume or you can say that at today how much data you are going to consume and tomorrow how, how much data you are going to consume or day after tomorrow whether you have have the frequent classes or you don't have any classes like that only you know so on that basis you can uh, recharge your mobile like that like that only 
clear is the material requirement planning when we are going for this this consumption data uh, you need to give the information that for the next next uh, month or next few months how much data you going to, you are going to consume so the material is already created here or yes right so this what one is, what is, uh, you have already created that material information okay like that only you will create your own material master records okay. yes sir so you do one thing you, you create your own vendor on your own name i don't i don't uh, want to see that tm500 like that only okay sir create your own material like like uh, what at uh, that uh, what is that what uh, i hope you are from electronic side so yes circuit, sir circuit uh, what you are using that bulb and uh, that uh, uh, circuit whatever you are using so like that only on that particular our material you create your own store uh, and material and um, transistor okay suppose for a for a, for a electronics company how much transistor uh, will be required they want a information right so you create a, a material master record for a transistor okay how much transistor a electronics uh, company will be require for uh, the next few months okay so you can prepare like that and uh, for a particular vendor or also you create your own vendor uh, for for a particular vendor and you can call that vendor you can call that material that materials to should be with respect to that material you can interlink you can play it uh, now if you have, have uh, understood this concept okay yes sir okay so i hope other vendor master uh, record yes vendor master record sir Ah, vendor master record. Uh, okay, we have already seen, na. So, oh, you can demonstrate uh, later on. Okay, once I will ask you. Okay, I will I'll ask you. Don't don't worry. Okay, we can ask. Okay. So, I hope uh, others I uh, have uh, get something from here, or how we can uh, work with the live server. Basant, are you getting these things or not? Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, are you getting something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So so you try. Uh, you also try with the live server, and uh, I will ask you some days to share your screen, and uh, you, can, you can do some hands-on session, and like how uh, this Neha and Sujita uh, are doing the hands-on training. Okay. So you also so can share some day your uh, screen, and uh, I will ask you to. Um, Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, I have uh, done practice on Bender Master Record. Okay, Bender Master Record you have created on your own. Uh, no, sir. Uh, on learning, I have uh, practiced, and now I will do so. If, uh, okay. Oh, so you. Pack. Live server, then uh, we will see that thing. And uh, what about Radha Khan? Yes. Radha Khan is there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am there, sir. Uh, so you have practiced with the live server? Uh, no, sir. That problem only, sir. I am listening in the but the system it is not uh, means that software not going well, sir. Okay, okay. So you install that software, and uh, once you will install. And uh, then uh, you will able to know many things because, as uh, practically, if you want to uh, answer questions, few questions, if you have practice with the live server, then only you can can answer uh, certain questions because it is interlinked uh, with the uh, live server. Okay, Theor theoretical things anyhow I am telling, and uh, practical things in the live server or uh, like how the is neha and sujita are demonstrating you can also do because we with the demonstration of these things then only it will little bit of easier for you to answer our the questions okay anyhow uh, theoretical questions only we will discuss but uh, you need to practice with the server also okay so install that one and uh, try it okay we will see that part okay so um, so with this i think others uh, should also uh, practice i am not getting many one and what about pramit pramit is silent and uh, pramit has not yet respond anything 
Pramit, are you there? Yes, sir. So, Pramit, uh, so you were not uh, sharing your screen in yet, and I don't know how you are doing with all this, uh, uh, what we have practiced. Hmm? Actually, I have forgotten some parts, so that's why I'm unable to get that. So you practice, na? That is that is why uh, that uh, learning hub is there with uh, you all. So we can go watch that, uh, watch from that learning hub, and implement and uh, implement the same thing things with the live server. And what are the difficult things you are facing? Thing you can um, ask us. If you are uh, facing any problem, eh? see how oh, this Nia and Sudita both are, are uh, demonstrating their uh, um, see all these things. Okay, so you can uh, you can also do practice this with this uh, live server and uh, demonstrate us. Uh, so then only see uh, while learning uh, new things. Obviously, there will be some fear, and uh, once you will overcome that, then uh, you can uh, easily learn that thing. Okay. So others uh, should also. I am actually stressing you because uh, all are from fourth year and third year. Okay. So you should learn these things because uh, the companies will come for based on this your performance. Once you will pass the pass the certification exam, then only. They, they, you, you can be able for you can be able to sit in the interview. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So to practice these things, then uh, you can you can uh, see what uh, uh, what you can learn. Okay. So what about others? Uh, others, uh, you must uh, respond. I mean, what are the problems you are facing, or else? Without uh, your response, I cannot. How can I know that whether you are getting the things or not? Okay, if you will practice and respond, then only the, uh, I can able to know. If you take interest, then you feel uh, feel uh, very happy for uh, practicing these new things. Okay, that is what. If you can uh, practice only, you will able to know. You will only get benefited. No one will get benefited if you will practice. Then only you will be able to know all these things. Okay. So anyhow, uh, all should uh, come voluntarily and uh, tell us what are the doubts or problems you are facing. I cannot reach you all of you individually, right? Because uh, once you will will uh, ask your doubts, then I can uh, help you. Okay. Uh, or else how? Or do I able to know that whether you are getting the things or not? If you practice, then you will face problem. Then ask me, then I will help you. Okay. So uh, with uh, this, uh, let me uh, start with one more uh, concept. And uh, so, Nia, can you stop uh, sharing? I think your screen is here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is what we have seen uh, last class. We have seen the uh, vendor master record, and uh, today we have seen the uh, material master record. Hope you all should uh, uh, practice with the learning hub as well as in the server. Okay, these two things. And uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, Pramit, you will show me in this uh, material master record. Okay. Yes, sir. I will. Pramit. Yes, sir. Okay. So tomorrow you will show me a demonstration of this uh, material master record. Or the all see all the steps are there here, or one by one, and and what else uh, you require? Everything is there. Okay. Uh, display how to display the material master record, or how to create a material master record. All these informations are there. So tomorrow you. So uh, from 5:30 you join and demonstrate the material master record. Okay. Okay. Sir. And where about that uh, Manas? He has left or what? He is still there or uh, he is uh, 
uh, I think uh, he is out of uh, uh, what uh, you are preparing for gate exam or what? I don't know, sir, about him. Uh, sir, I think he is not joining this class. No, he is not joining. That is why I am asking. Where is he? Okay. So the next concept will be extend uh, extended material master record. So this is how uh, you should uh, you all should practice with yourself how to extend that uh, material master record. Uh, it is there. Or uh, the uh, the same thing are there. Once you are able to know the creation of material master record, then uh, this is very easy. You can uh, practice it uh, extending of material master record. I am not uh, going in details about that extending of metal master record or, uh, and all uh, because uh, you can you can uh, do practice it with your uh, server. Okay, so let us go to the uh, using uh, entry ads for uh, master data maintenance. This is also not uh, that much of importance, but anyhow I need to to go through it. Uh, today fifth class, right? Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So entry ads uh, for master master data maintenance. So we can go for uh, for what are the business example here. What are the entry ads? You often need uh, to process material and vendor master record. Okay. Uh, whatever material master and vendor master record we have created, you often needs to process. So as a part of this job function. You test the entry ads that are provided for these uh, master records. For this reason, you require the following knowledge. Okay, so an uh, understanding of the different entry ads for the uh, maintenance of the vendor master record and material master record. So, what are the, the different entry ads for maintaining uh, these uh, vendor master record and material master record? All this is you need to uh, you need to understand. So before understanding, you need to know how to create this uh, vendor master record with reference and how to create material master record with reference material. Okay, and also we'll learn here how to use collective entry tree for storage location data in the material master record. So all these things we will uh, we'll learn here or uh, mostly we'll see the vendor master data with reference and uh, maintaining material master data using entry ads. So what does this? Is they will uh, say mostly you can see here or uh, whatever uh, address data, blank details, partner roles, all this uh, should not be going into the blank data, or should not be copied into the blank data. But you can see you can you can uh, all this reference from the control data uh, or whatever address data, bank data details, you can copy it in the uh, control data. These things you can see uh, creating vendor master record with reference. That is what with the reference you can create at uh, this is uh, vendor master record. Okay, so to create the vendor master record, use an existing vendor as a reference. Okay, suppose, suppose you want to create a vendor master record, how to use a reference? We have only seen in the last class that how to create a vendor master record, or so all the we have, we, have, we have manually input all the information related to that particular vendor. Okay. So now we will see how to create that vendor master record by using an existing vendor as a reference. So we will take the help of a reference. The system copies the general data from an existing vendor. Okay. The control data is also copied it from the reference. The control data is the control data whatever or, uh, is there. It can also be directly copied from the uh, whatever uh, reference data. Reference data is here. However, the system does not copy all the data, example address, bank information, and business factor. This this system this system will not able to copy uh, this address data, bank details, partner roles. There are certain constraints are there. Okay, so that is why the systems uh, I mean allow you or prom uh, prompts you to maintain this data. All your address obviously time to time it is changing, na? The address data, bank details may be changed. So that is why it is not directly copied. It, you need to maintain once again time to time. Okay, or update time to time. So the transfer of information from the existing vendor depends on the following factor. That is one only copying data uh, that is not vendor specific. The address and blocking indicator 
are not copied okay so these informations once you can transfer or when displaying the data that you have already entered for your vendor the saved data is not overwritten by the reference data so see see how the questions will be there or uh, the questions may be asked you like that what are the data you can transfer or the transfer of information from existing vendor or uh, data will depends upon so the transfer of information from existing vendor it is what you are taking the reference okay so what uh, for what uh, how, for how many factors it is depending it may be it, the questions may be asked you like that various uh, so, um, contents will be given like you this uh, when only copying data that is not vendor specific the address and blocking indicator are not copied okay so when is copying data uh, that is not vendor specific if the you are copying you are you are copy the data which is not vendor specific if it is not vendor specific then the address and blocking indicator are not copied then only if it is if it is uh, vendor specific only then these informations will be copied like that only questions will be there or if the data are uh, copying data are vendor specific then uh, the blocking indicator are not copied then the sentence may be wrong so you need to to know the concept that uh, only and only if the data are vendor specific then only you can uh, copy that material okay that is what uh, it is so near if it is uh, vendor specific this data then only you can copy those data but here you can see that any data related to this address is the data bank details pattern rolls we are not directly copy you need to maintain this data okay so this concept you need to be it needs to be clear okay so that is what it is written when displaying data that you have already entered for your vendor the save data is not overwritten by the reference data so here overwritten is not there many of many of the times you have you have, you have uh, experience that when you copy a uh, one data which is already there one file which is already there uh, in the same folder uh, it will be it will be asked you to whether you will go for overwrite or cancel right it is asking something like that most of you have experienced this thing so when you want to update the information then uh, we are going for overwrite it into that particular item but here what happened it is not like that that the saved data is not overwritten by the reference data that is the difference you need to understand when you specify the areas to be transferred from the reference you define the area that needs to be copied from the reference in this point it needs to be clear okay when you specify the area to be transferred from the reference you define the area obviously you need to define a particular area that needs to be copied from the reference okay for example so if you do not specify a purchasing organization the system do not transfer the purchasing data that is why you need to specify the particular area okay so this concept needs to be understood without understanding this concept you are not you cannot not uh, answer uh, this multiple type of questions okay so the following are the two scenario occurring during the system transfer of data what are the gen general data created this depends on whether you have already created the general data which includes name address and phone number only the company data is transferred when you specify the reference company code see only the company code data is transferred when you are referring the reference code reference company code but here or uh, you need to so oh, this depends on whether you have already created you need to create the general data that will will include name address and phone number but still when you are copying you know copy only company code data when you create the data for purchasing organization the system transfer only this correct this corresponding data from the reference okay so general data the company code data will only transfer general data not created and only the language and country from the reference address data is transferred okay <coughs> so how to create the vendor master record with reference and so that is xk01 and uh, we can see that uh, last class also i told you by taking reference how we will create and uh, this year also it is taking the same thing that is sk01 is the transaction code for this one 
we can see this part uh, one by one and uh, now to create the, or maintain that thing uh, let me see any other theoretical things are there or not material master maintenance settings reference material profiles collective mass maintenance okay it is not required the entry ads uh, that facilitate uh, material master maintenance are as follows setting reference material these are the entry ads uh, that will facilitate the material uh, master maintenance okay settings reference uh, material profiles collective entry of storage location data mass maintenance okay so entry ads in uh, material master maintenance settings reference material profile if you want to copy the purchasing data for material determine the following okay we need to see these things also if you want to copy if you want to copy the purchasing data for material determine the following that uh, you only want to copy the purchasing data valid for single client reference so in this case do not enter a plant for the reference okay the, uh, that the plant specific data also needs to be copied from the reference in this case you specify the plant for which the reference material has to be created or has been created so obviously you need to mention that that uh, plant or uh, company which uh, where you are or uh, where for, for where or uh, this vendor you are creating okay you need to mention those parts also okay so we'll see these are the other anything is important here if the material master already exists the storage location specific data can be added manually automatically as follows okay and these things uh, you need to see so what are the entry ads uh, we have seen here yes the entry ads are see these are the entry ads that facilitate the material master maintenance are as follows so settings reference material profiles and uh, collective entry of storage location data and mass maintenance hopefully hopefully you understand these things right or these things uh, that uh, what uh, exactly this uh, entry ads yes just uh, just uh, try to see this figure because uh, you can uh, you can get from this figure it, uh, it, it will be easy for you to remember these things so when while creating the material master maintenance you are doing the, all the settings uh, for maintaining that material master or you are uh, for maintaining the material master you can you can refer a particular material okay like this uh, girl will will uh, create a profile for that particular material okay you are creating that particular material i'll uh, and uh, also uh, collective entry of storage location data so for example well, uh, in this storage location on how much uh, material is there in this storage location how much material is there so all this this information should be uh, collected or uh, it must be uh, collected okay or mass maintenance how uh, within a plant or within a company in a, how mass maintenance is there or uh, for a particular material that uh, also needs to be there so these are the entry ads that is what it is called the entry ads for this this material master record i hope uh, i hope uh, you got all these things because based on this also maybe uh, there there may be in or um, there may be you want questions uh, created you want questions may be created like that okay so So what are the entry ads in the material master records also i hope uh, you understand what are the entry ads for a material master settings material uh, reference material profiles collective entry of storage location data mass maintenance right yes am i correct or uh, uh, are you getting or not yes are you all there student Yeah. so uh, if the yes, sir. Uh, yeah if the material master record already exist a storage location specific data can be added manually or automatically okay when if the material master record data is already exist suppose for example for a particular material the material master record is already exist okay then uh, uh, how oh, the storage location specific data can be added you can say that and whether you will go for or manually you can uh, update the data or uh, it, it may be go for uh, automatically it may update so suppose how is in your uh, store in your uh, suppose in storehouse 
ये सारी इन स्टोर हाउस और इन द पर्टिकुलर स्टोरेज लोकेशन एंड हंड्रेड पीसेस आर हंड्रेड पीस मेटेरियल्स आर देयर ओके एंड एंड द व्हाट द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट विल आस्क यू द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट आस्क द स्टोरेज लोकेशन टू गिव इफ ट्वेंटी पीसेस फॉर द कंजम्पन ऑफ टूडेज मेटेरियल फॉर टूडेज कंजम्पन सो the storage uh, locations uh, the storage department and uh, will uh, issue 20 pieces as to the production department then automatically in the material master record it will be updated the informations will be updated that at uh, 20 pieces has out of 100 pieces 20 pieces has been uh, sent through sent to uh, production department okay so 80 pieces are in our storage location So, or uh, in the material master, we have only 80 pieces of this particular material. So this will automatically update. How? Or else you can manually enter in the log book, okay? Or in the registry book, you can enter. Or out of 100 pieces, 20 pieces will be uh, taken by the production department. On 80 pieces are there in our stock. You can manually enter. So how you can do manually? That is what you can see here. Manually enter the storage location for material master record. using collective entry so using collective entry you can manually enter this is uh, much faster than entering the data individually like for uh, each storage location okay so there are severe storage severe or uh, or mineral sorry or many storage locations will be there okay so out of many storage locations you can can collectively le, enter the um, material whatever uh, is consumed or whatever has been taken out of the uh, storage location okay so in the material master menu the function is under or uh, other or uh, enter storage location transaction transaction code is mmsc so you can see that thing okay automatically when you are going for automatically you can see the system automatically adds the storage location data to the material master record with the fast goods received posting All data that refers to the storage location affected is updated in the material master record. All this is automatically updated. The system must be configured accordingly in customizing the inventory management and physical inventory under create storage location automatically. See, there is the options in the uh, SPRO that is uh, the uh, customization tab. Uh, we can customize that at uh, that create storage location automatically. You can. you need to select this option without uh, selecting this uh, create storage location automatically then it will not be going to update it. so in for automatically update you need to select that create storage location automatically okay so this is how you can go for automatically or manually also you can update uh, the storage location specific data okay so mass maintenance also you can do Oh, for uh, several material master record, you can simultaneously do mass maintenance. So, how to make uh, pre-setting in as an entry ads, or how to do actually entry ads, or how to make material master with ready reference? These things uh, let me show you in the learning hub. So, I am mostly using this learning hub to save time, and you can do practice uh, for yourself. Okay, if you are facing problem, and let me know. I will try to help you. on that because if i'm going to demonstrate all these thing then i want to get i i would not be finish this all these courses within time so that is my problem okay so entry ads demonstrate how to create a vendor master record with reference or else in what it is there Entry at some material. There is a number. Then we say how to make this thing. Okay. First, to see how to. First, let us see how to to how to do this um, vendor master record with reference. Okay. First, let us see the demonstration how to create uh, the vendor master record with reference.
So for creating vendor master record, again you need to go to the vendor master record. So go to the material management, purchasing, vendor, uh, go to the master data, the master data, go to the vendor. Uh, central, you need to select central. So you are, so we are, uh, see, uh, so we are, uh, we are going to create a vendor master record by taking the reference of a particular vendor. Okay. That is what, what it is there. Uh, you are creating a, a vendor, but vendor master record by taking a reference of a particular vendor. Now you'll see, I'll take this vendor and by taking this reference of this particular vendor. Now, uh, uh, now he has taken the reference of this uh, particular vendor that is TK five zero zero A zero zero. This uh, we are taking the reference of this TK five zero zero A zero zero for making the vendor master record of this this TK five zero zero Y zero zero. Okay. The company code and and purchasing organization data will be filled and. Uh, Okay, now after clicking or after writing all these things, then you can and, uh, click enter and then you can put your own company name and the charge term. So you want to give charge term, whatever, then you need to um, click enter. Enter you refer. Uh, we have taken a reference for that actually it is already available all the information data are already in by the uh, vendor or uh, tk 500 has already already mentioned all these things so this is how you can keep the reference right so you are creating a vendor by taking a reference to this vendor. So as we have already, as we know that how to create a vendor master record, you create a vendor on your own and you take the, you prepare a new vendor and take the reference of, of that vendor. Then only you, then only you think that, that you are, are successfully able to create a vendor. Okay. You create your own vendor on your own name and then you call that vendor or you refer that vendor for creating another vendor. Okay, so this is how we can practice. You should practice these things by creating your own. Am I clear, right? Yes. Are you all there? Yes, sir. Okay, so you create your own vendor. Yeah, and then and uh, you, you need to uh, refer that at a uh, vendor under uh, for uh, reference okay so now we'll see uh, now we'll see how to make now we'll see how to make pre-setting agent entry and demonstrate how to create metal master record by taking the reference okay we'll see pre-setting in entry ads so what are the entry ads just now I have told what are the entry ads Zita Zita what are the entry ads hey, Radha what Sir? are the entry ads yes just now we have seen what are the entry ads for metal master Sir, settings Ah, setting. Reference material. Reference material uh, profile. Uh, profile. Collective entry. Uh -huh. So we'll see all these things here. 
or uh, now or the other entry ads okay so this demonstration will show you how to make pre settings as an entry ads you can see go to the logistics okay or you can directly go to the mm03 is what for for what transaction code you are using mm03 so this Uh, metal master uh, okay display of material master record okay so we will yes. see uh, we will see for uh, we will write mm03 for display of material master record you can directly go to the material master record write your material which material will you using so or we can write your material Next, so all this uh, information for that particular material can be saved like this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we can uh, now, so oh, like that only we can uh, enter the initial screen in a for a particular material. Now we'll see. how to create a material master record or uh, for uh, by taking the reference okay that is what had i i show you i mean um, and i and at that time i asked you how to copy material how to copy or will take a reference of that particular material whatever you are taking a material here or you are taking a reference you are taking a reference of that particular material okay so uh, uh, that sudipta you know that how we are selecting this thing yes sir uh, that is what you are asking na how we are selecting this thing select view so these no, are no sir uh, actually these actually these are the select uh, selected view you can select it uh, by at uh, uh, once you will select anyhow you will select any one else all all other things you can be able to to visualize in the drop down box okay just you select any one and it will be there anyhow it will be there in the drop down box but what uh, you will select here it will be appear in the drop down box sir 
sir the selected portions will uh, uh, will be uh, we will give the information no sir or we can uh, select no, it from the top down Uh, in the drop down box you can select it here only in the select view you can select anyone and then and it will be is shown in your uh, front screen actually from the drop down box also you can we can take it into the front screen but here if you have selected then it will be shown in your drop down in the front uh, screen of that uh, layout yes sir see and now you can uh, copy from uh, the plant uh, from a specific plant and to a specific storage location or from uh, storage location to storage location that is what had you can copy from 1000 plant to 1000 plant or from uh, mj00 location 1 then uh, now see here what are uh, any uh, what are whatever you have selected in the select view right at purchasing mrp1 all these will be there in this screen okay in this screen it is it is there i think you can see here it is, it is got merge okay whatever you have selected in the select view you can it, it can be appeared here if you will not if you will not uh, selected then it will be there in the drop down box that is what you can see you can select this drop down box it will be appear here and then if you can select it it will be comes to this screen that is the importance only okay or as only whatever you have seen there only you can find out here in the drop down box all these things will be shown okay okay so these are the things that uh, we already know na how to to mentor that uh, how to give that material master okay valuation class uh, what is the valuation class that uh, we will see hmm. price control standard uh, device standard uh, device or or uh, we are going for the moving average so you have selected here standard uh, price control okay so like that only you can refer a particular uh, Uh, material for uh, creating a another material master part. Okay, so this is the only thing is there that you can uh, that you can uh, do the material master record. So MM six zero is what? Yes. You see, MM six zero is what? MM six zero is what? Change. Change or what? It is not change. I think uh, MM six zero is what? Display profile. I think no, MM six profile. You know now what is for what purpose MM six zero is there? Yes, for the material list. Okay, if you if you use the transaction code MM six zero, you will able to know the list of material. Okay. okay. 
see here or uh, what are the materials as uh, you have prepared all this list of material you can uh, see by taking mm60 you know where uh, this uh, metal uh, mm60 is there i think it is not there so list uh, view i think it will be there in the list view there is at least view Hmm. It will be there in the list view. Joe, material tool, tool or what? Material it should be there in the material list view. It should be there. Ah, uh, let me see. It is there. I don't think it is there. What is the path for MM zero zero? Not the profile. It is not in my batch environment. This is central level. No. Okay. So that means we will see later on. And um, anyhow, uh, so where are we? We have just uh, finished this this one, right? So we have finished this one. Um, can, okay, let us now to practice. Okay, so how to create material master record? And uh, this is uh, this we have already seen so how to use collective entry of storage. So this demonstration you can see how to do entry storage. Okay, collective entry. And what happened? So MMSC is what? MMSC is for collective uh, and. See, MMSC is for enter storage location collectively. So I hope uh, uh, you are understanding these things, or uh, you are feeling sleepy. Are you all there? Yes, sir. Yes. How many of you are there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you are there, right? So others feeling sleepy or what? So are you getting the, these things or you are not getting? Yes. Okay, so for uh, collective uh, entire storage locations, once you can uh, use this MMSC, your material and plant uh, details you give. And then enter uh, for the specification entry. Okay. So then collectively you can uh, give the information about the location and bin field. Like that only you can do, you can practice. Okay, so you take it to exercise maintaining material uh, master data using entry ads. So you can do practice. Uh, these things are there. We have already seen the demonstration. And that is how we can end this one. And now we are going for the uh, we can performance uh, performing uh, mass maintenance okay so let me see is there any important things are there or you can do practice yourself okay mass maintenance is what uh, mass maintenance is what uh, so you can take the path for mass maintenance logistic material management Material master, material mass maintenance. So, what we will do in the mass maintenance? 
Okay, so these are the things, uh, data records, mass maintenance. So before we go, we need to understand, right, what is mass maintenance. Mass maintenance, you need to see theoretically. We just see what uh, is for what purpose, uh, for what is the business example so we are doing for the mass maintenance. So that business example wise, once you will understand then and your concept will be clear for mass maintenance. So you are responsible for creating and maintaining material master record in your company, right? Suppose consider that uh, you are the boss and, uh, and uh, for a particular uh, group, okay, in the company then in that group uh, you are uh, you are all singly single and only you are responsible for uh, creating and maintaining mass uh, maintaining material master record okay as part of your job you need to add data for another uh, plant to the material master record or for the headlight okay suppose consider there uh, any headlight you are preparing so that, that should be preparing of headlight is another part of uh, uh, preparing this metal master record for a headlight. So as a reference, use the data of uh, material that uh, you have already entered for the plant 1000. Okay. So maintain uh, material uh, master data using entry ads. So the headlight is now also uh, used in plant 1200. Extend the material master uh, record with the data for the plant. So copy the material master record. So what obviously you need to to already it is if the information is already there or uh, in the material master record, you can directly copy the uh, material master record. Copy from any one material master record. Okay. So create the material master record or uh, that is TM five zero zero Y or something like that. You can zero one zero two two zero something like that, whatever you put. Okay. For plant twelve one day and storage location this one. As a reference. Use the data from the metal master record or that has already been in created for the plant 1000 and storage location 0001. Create the view who is purchasing account 1 and general data storage location and then you will go for uh, the change material master record, display change document for a material and uh, enter material data for several, several storage location and materials list. Okay. So maintaining a material master data using entry, this also you can see, we will directly we go to this learning hub and you can see how to maintain this, uh, how to do the mass maintenance. All this data should be how we will maintain the mass maintenance. So let us see these questions first, whether you are able to answer it correctly or not. The cross application mass maintenance tool can be used to change many objects simultaneously. Is it correct or wrong? The cross application mass maintenance tool can be used to change many objects simultaneously. Yes? Are they are all? Who will tell me the right answer? Yes? What is cross application mass maintenance? Are you all there? Yes, sir. Oh, you are there. Okay, so oh, Radhakan, can you tell me what is this uh, answer? Uh, the cross application mass maintenance tool well, can be used to change many objects simultaneously. Uh, sir, <coughs> many objects simultaneously. Yes. Yes, it is true means uh, let me say whether if you are correct or wrong. Yes, you are correct. So 
So this cross application mass maintenance is a tool that you can use to change many objects simultaneously. So like that only you can you can uh, test yourself, okay? And uh, see the see this uh, questions you can uh, uh, change uh, uh, test yourself. But you can see how to execute mass maintenance. So that's the last thing for today's class. We will see uh, for mass maintenance how to do this mass maintenance. Okay. See MM17, you can go for it. For mass maintenance, you should use this transaction code MM17. Data records to be changed, uh, you need to fill, and data records to be created. Okay, so from which material to which material, tell uh, your data uh, needs to be changed. That uh, from which plant to which plant, and your data are changed, you need to mention those part. See here, material uh, 0, 2, 0, 3, the, the, uh, three change. the next step will be. You need to select the field. Field selection is important. It is what it can control. Field selection. Field selection, you can see you what you can uh, do in the field selection. You can select the purchasing group to the selection criteria. You can take uh, all these things uh, to the selection criteria. Okay. So you take it to the selection criteria. Uh, choose this one. Okay. I choose this one. This one. So, so I have uh, taken uh, into the purchasing group and uh, to the selection criteria uh, for the purchasing uh, group of this uh, uh, um, mass material. Okay, so for which purchasing group that is why it is shown here. You have selected there as an and field selection. So for you, you need to mention the purchase group. So see how you can choose the mass change. Okay, already it is changed now. All the changed. Previously, you can see here. Previously, it was uh, uh, it's scoring the purchasing group. Previously, previously all this uh, material uh, M2, M03. And uh, 04 or uh, M2, M02, M03, 04 are stored in the, uh, or, or we can go for the, or this material are in the purchasing group 004, 004, 004. What do you want to to change and uh, or maintain in in the purchasing group 005? So what do you need to do? You need to carry out a mass change. So select this one and uh, select this one and carry out a mass change. And uh, purchasing group will be get changed. Okay. Okay. So this is how. You can execute uh, the mass maintenance, right? So with this, uh, I think uh, uh, we have done with this uh, chapter number two or unit two. Okay. So from tomorrow onwards, I will go to, I need to finish all these uh, metal valuations and it will take lots of time in unit three. So quickly, uh, Sujibta, uh, you do practice with this uh, 
conditions in purchasing and uh, mostly you need to practice with the rfq you are uh, asking me some doubts with the rfq so i could not able to see all these things but uh, tomorrow we'll see all these things okay you do practice once again and uh, this rfq and quotation process we will see these things okay so hopefully let tomorrow students you should join earlier i think i will schedule it by 5:30 uh, i hope none of you are having any problem right because it will take some time uh, by um, covering this unit 3 it will take some time so uh, all of us join by 5:30 those i mean uh, all i think hope uh, most of you are <coughs> most of you are uh, taking seriously you should uh, jump you should uh, join by 5:30 so that that we can uh, start as early as possible right Yes, sir. Clear. So uh, you practice with the RFQ and quickly within 10 to 15 minutes try to show for the demonstration. And uh, Neha, tomorrow what we will uh, demonstrate to us? Sir, please you give your topic. Uh, you, see, you see in the lesson one what is there in the conditions in purchasing or uh, there is demonstration how to use condition in purchase order. Okay. Okay, sir. And... Uh, uh, Basanta, you got today's class right, what we have discussed? Yes, sir. So, some more. Uh, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, some doubts are there. Uh, ah, if you have any doubts, you can ask me now. Yes, sir. Sir, actually, uh, how I can activate that course, sir? That uh, material management in SAP learning hub, sir? Okay, in Learning Hub, how to activate this course? That is what you are asking. So let me take you to the Learning Hub. Of, uh, let me take you to the Learning Hub. So can you able to see my Learning Hub page? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I hope... Uh, see, in my active courses, you can see here or uh, it is there i think you can browse it here okay find courses yes, find courses what do you want to learn uh, today okay. yes sir uh -huh. in the find courses you type it type okay yes sir <laughs> you need to what you need to do you need to go type it here all these things once you will uh, it there, then uh, you will see the list of uh, uh, books or search there list why it is not there Results for SAP ERP part one. No, it is not showing. What? Let me go back. Not showing because I think I have already installed this one. That is why it cannot be. Or else, uh, uh, and yeah, you are uh, uh, you have done your activation by your own, or uh, they have already done for you. Neha, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. You have, you have activated your course by your own, or? Uh, no, sir. I have the help of Shudipta. Yes, yes. I have taken the help of Shudipta, sir. Shudipta, you have done by your own or you have done, the, anyone has done for it for you? Sir, I have done myself. Oh, like that only you have done, right, in the fine course? Sir, yes, 
sir yes sir like that only we have searched from the that uh, box and uh, we've done ah. sir actually sir the guide sir yeah. in the mail id it is given sir okay okay so basant uh, see actually this is the procedure you need to write it here that uh, academic one uh, part one or like that only so actually it is already added in my course that is why it may not be so but you can you can write it here in the course and it will be there in your screen and then to activate sir, uh, sir i have uh, yeah. sir tried from live access portal sir in that uh, i have uh, uh, searched uh, then uh, it was showing to uh, buy content contingent no, no, id buy content then free courses are there uh, these things are there or uh, these things are there it will be already see how all these courses are there already added that uh, it is there like that only every all of uh, us uh, are uh, added all these courses okay sir so yeah, you, this one is showing sir this all are showing this all are showing right yeah yeah okay so but uh, i am i am telling that uh, how to uh, access dot uh, that ebooks and uh, uh, you are having once you need to activate those courses it will be it will be shown in my active courses in this okay. in this case, it will be shown then you continue courses or start courses if for ebook you can start courses for or uh, this safety uh, live access you don't need to go you go for e learning e learning okay and, and uh, look it into that okay okay sir okay. so so tomorrow can you perform this mass maintenance for us sir tomorrow can you demonstrate mass maintenance for us yes sir i will okay. try sir. Okay, you you will uh, the in your live server you can demonstrate the yes, mass maintenance for us. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Now yeah, you to continue with this condition. Okay. The. Uh, request for quotation and quotation process. Okay. So and uh, hopefully then tomorrow I need to finish this. Uh, in it three okay so let us see what will happen okay so all should practice right yes, yes sir okay. okay so done then uh, we'll see we'll meet once again uh, tomorrow